Welcome to Puglia, Italy. In this video, we'll be exploring the area between Nardò and Santa Caterina, alongside Davide Mengoli from Salento with Love. Stick around until the end because we're going to participate in a bit of a challenge. Apparently, there's a place where a cold, fresh water spring meets the warm sea, and most people can't last much more than 30 seconds. Coming from Idaho and growing up in the mountain lakes, well, let's just say challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. We're gonna have a bit of fun today. I've been in Salento for a little bit and I was talking to Davide Mengoli. You know, I love Salento, but <laughs> the cities, you know, they're, they're beautiful, historical center, a bit chaotic around the outside edges, but what else is there to do? Because all I know how to do is uh, the beaches. You know, they're my favorite beaches, but I said, is there somewhere that you could show me that has a bit more nature? And so we came to Nardo, kind of a typical city here in Italy, but it's the second largest in Lecce, province of Lecce, and it really does have a beautiful um, historical center. This thing right here, apparently there's one just like it from the same uh, creator in Ostuni. Anyway, we're gonna show you what it's like here around Nardo and just share you a bit of the lifestyle that you could live coming down in, in this area. So the first one we would like to introduce is the pasticciotto. Uh, but literally this is my favorite dessert in Puglia. This is called the pas half of a pasticciotto because half of it is inside my stomach right now. After a bit of touring, it's time for a snack. Wow, look at all these cakes. We have the sfogliatelle over there, the cannoli here. This, wow, they're full of cream and the beignets. That's a good reason to come to Italy. We're just taking over someone's van, a 1970... 79, she said. Wow! 900 T. So beautiful, look at the interiors. They're planning to go around a tour of Italy in this. That'd be amazing. First of all, I have to say, I had a 1965 panel van. If anybody of you are fans, it was my father's passed down to me, and I tried to renovate the whole thing. It was larger than this. The engine was right here in the middle. Uh, 1965 obviously uh, 14 years a little bit older but this reminds me of that more like a VW because it has all these yeah. windows but Split amazing the, the interior is really nice <laughs> no, but isn't it beautiful that we're just having a coffee and we just get chatting with people and this is Italy <laughs> wonderful this is heaven every summer we, <laughs> we eat the rustic bowl <laughs> Shove it in your mouth. <laughs> We're getting all of the, the Puglian de delicacies. I think, I think you should get your genetic test done because I think if you do your genetic test you'll find that you are originally <laughs> from Salento. Probably. <laughs> My two favorite things of Salento right here today. Um, we should have recorded the um, coffee break but we got distracted well, by the band. We were going to relax for a minute but it's still here. We're now followers of Odino Il Pulmino. If you want to follow it on Instagram, you can go Odino. You can see the link in the description. All right. You're going to remember that Odino. Yeah, I already. I'm a follower already. So. But also, the guy that owns it, it's got a jewelry shop, and he was telling me that uh, he's reinventing himself by making 3D jewelry using um, digital technique. Oh. Like. Incredible. Stuff. 3D printing or 3D. 3D printing. Oh. So you can get a printed. They're innovative I mean, they're here so in Cheaper. I mean, if you've got a girlfriend now, you can just print, press print, <laughs> print, get the ring, you give her the ring. Fantastic. 
Anyway, that's the joke. The only problem with the rustico, it's crumbling. Closer to our challenge, but first a quick stop for lunch with direct access to the sea. Food hasn't come yet, but wow! Can you think of a better place to be? Well, I'm not sure. Incredible water, temperature is fantastic, and also places like this where you can chill out all day have lunch and then in the evening you go have a wash get dressed and come back and the place has changed it's become completely different offering the opportunity to enjoy a lifestyle here in the evening so let's go and get some lunch uh, you know, this would never have happened otherwise food is here <laughs> so let's describe our food grazie yeah. so we all have our food yeah. wow Rosalba what have you what, what is that uh, salmone, pomodori, <laughs> rucola, on. Yeah, you really have to describe it. Inglese, inglese. Inglese, inglese. Well, what's the bread? What's that bread called? Frisella. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you got also got frisella. Frisella with uh, pomodorini, a uh, caccia ricotta or something like that. Wow, yeah. that looks amazing. And I'm going for the same as uh, Rosalba. That looks like a guacamole, the, uh, the green. I didn't even look at the menu. the jetatoyi with still some black traces on the walls and that's a sign that they did throw some really boiling hot oil over to whoever was trying to attack these towers mainly Turkish back in the 14th century and so those opening at the top of the roof were specifically created so the guards could go to the roof where they could boil the oil and then throw it down from the jetatoyi obviously these bridges were built afterwards because not creating access to the main tower was a priority and uh, yeah
After a long hike, it's time to get in the water. We finally made it to the location of our cold water challenge. Right here at the edge of this cove, cold water mixes with the salty sea. Do you think we can last in the water? All the way, all the way! <laughs> <laughs> of course we have the whole sea, but we, we'd rather be just in a little pool. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 look at the amount of people queuing up there. <laughs> Your offer, you better take it away from anywhere from the north or the south countries. Like uh, far north, far the south, because it's not going to be that big of a challenge. <laughs> the challenge was five minutes in the pool to get some kind of discounts, but forget about that, because look at this guy, he's been in there for like six minutes. <laughs> Is that a portion that's a little colder? It's going to be a big problem. <laughs> 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 How is it? It's Yeah. You don't mind it, right? We were, we were chilling. <laughs> Now the water feels like normal. Well, obviously for an Idaho boy like me, the icy water wasn't the challenge that I expected or that the hype made me believe. You can't tell by my reaction, but the water it was pretty cold. You can see by the look on the faces of the locals that the water was more than their warm blood could handle. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> so we started early this morning. Uh, what a beautiful day going from uh, sitting in a cafe having a pasticciotto. We've come a long way. I kind of want another one right now. I mean, it's been a long day. <laughs> we, come, we have come a long way. Subscribe to our channel, My One Is Salento. We'd love you. You're probably watching this video on my channel. So press the subscribe button and the little bell. And subscribe to Davil's channel. It's, it's extraordinary in terms of exploring an area and uh, discovering little pockets of an area and yeah. being able to do so much in such a short space of time right here there are beautiful places in Salento my best vacations in my entire life are in this area if you're ever in the area of Nardo definitely check out Porto Selvaggio next to Santa Catarina just a beautiful experience and we'll see you next time <laughs>